Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All Blind. In the last episode, Maya got freaking kidnapped by a guy named a killer, and in this episode we're going to start the process of saving her. Uh, Pearl, please don't look so sad. It's not your fault at all. You did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself, please. Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if, what if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? You know, putting aside my anger, my emotional, empathetic nature for a second, this is a really, really compelling direction to take things because Nick is about justice, right? But now he's having to pick between the possibility of defending somebody who is completely guilty and his partner. And then there's also like his feelings about Mia probably mixed in there too. <laughs> and this is, it's so compelling, man. I, wow. Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mystic Maya? Pearls. Let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. It, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I... I can't stop thinking about it. Oh my god. This... Breaking my fucking heart, dude. Ugh. Pearls. You're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I... I don't have anyone else. Oh... That's so sad. <laughs> Pearl, you have me. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family. My father, he left my mother in the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother, she did that thing all for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Mystic Maya, she's like a sister to me. She is all I have left in this world. Oh my god. I can't handle this. Oh my god. Okay. Let's get started. Um, <clears throat> Fuck. Jesus Christ, dude. March 21st, 8.57am, detention center, visitor's room. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one Nickel Samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin' Ninja. Hey. Did you do it? Good, good morning. How are you today? I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Oh, oh god. Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Uh, excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know. I'm going completely off the fact that he said dude at the start. Oh, no, no, no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. What are you talking about? Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building isn't my house, so... What the fuck is your deal? No, no, no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers, either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? What? You have this in prison? Or jail, not prison, technically, but... Okay, this guy's a character. I never, I always feel super off-put every time we get a new client. Like, it, it, basically every client but Maya and Edgeworth that we've ever had, I feel super kind of like, eh, toward. But usually they end up growing on me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that aside for a bit. The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? Very. I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. 
You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? <laughs> Mr. Nick, this is our chance. I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. Oh my god, okay. Hey, dude, uh, tell me about yourself. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography's coming out soon, so... If I say stuff about the publisher's without the publisher's approval, then I'm gonna be in real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? Oh my god. Mr. Ongard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Yeah. Is he really? Is it just like a... Well, even if it is like a fake phone thing, I'm surprised I didn't confiscate it. Sorry about that. Like, I thought the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? This guy is so weird. Okay, what happened? Mr. On Guard, I would like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? No, not me, but somebody. Um, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, 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 I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? I don't think so. I... I think this guy is our kookiest client yet. Crazier than Max, and that's... and that's impressive. If we're talking about Mr. Ongard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said, Even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick, what's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city that Nickel Samurai protects. Okay. Hey, man, I'm a lawyer. Mr. On Guard, this is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. You're in jail, my man. I don't have the time to take on a lawyer's correspond to, to take a lawyer's lawyer's correspondence course. Oh my god, that's a long word. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance, then extinguishers, now this. Okay. Should we tell him the truth? Mr. Nick? What are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present from someone. Hmm? Interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible! Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. Ah, uh, okay. Hey. Uh, how, you, how do you feel about Juan? Man, it's too bad he's dead. That's your reaction, my guy? You killed him. That's the most logical conclusion, don't you agree? Dude, what are you talking about? You're making such a huge mistake. If that's such a mistake, then why did they issue an arrest warrant for you? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the guy in charge of this place, okay? F You're not talking to anybody, my man. Stars sure know a lot of people, don't they? I wonder if that phone even really gets reception in here. Uh, I guess you're right about the warrant after all. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we might be making some progress here. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything new? No? Okay. Tell us about the Nickel Samurai. Dude, I know I like to throw my money around, but it's not like I buy anything and everything. That's nice, because it's not up for sale anyway. Okay. Uh, are you hiding anything from me, my guy? No. Okay. Dude, let me... Let's talk, my guy. Hey, uh... Yeah, I'm such a handsome devil. Uh, um, yeah. And I'm way too good at sport. and I'm way good at sports. Karate, tennis, judo, soccer, football, hockey, fencing. I like that he mentions both soccer and football, so we know what he's talking about. <laughs> Dude, it's no wonder I'm so popular. I... I really don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't know if it's just residual of the situation that I'm kind of like, come on, man. But, like, this guy... 
I think he's the first client where I'm like, uh... And that's intentional, I'm sure. Uh, um, yeah. You're also good at sitting in a jail cell, Mr. Popular. Exactly. God, dude. What? Tell him about Maya? Um, dude, this person looks like a member of my fan club. Well, she is. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the fan club president, okay? Um, dude. You know what? Forget I asked. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I don't... I don't think I have anything... Smile, you're on candid camera. Mr. On Guard keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. I'm sure he is. Two entertainer clients in a row. Interesting. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet you could forget he was even there, if he wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. Okay. Well... I just... I don't have a path forward right now. Uh... What were you gonna confess? What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were going to give one after... winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, while you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. Wait. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. Who is your manager? Might your manager be... the killer? Huh. Huh. He didn't know? That's odd. Yeah, very weird. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please, wait! I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you do use kids to pull in clients, too? If you don't take me as your lawyer, then the killer is going to... Wait. What did you just say? The killer. The killer. What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. All right, dude. I accept your terms. What do you know about the killer? Is he your manager? Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it. We did it, Mr. Nick. Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it, and he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. Okay. Now, tell me. Man, I think I, my lucky star is that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Oh my god. <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> uh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. <laughs> I guess Mr. On Guard has a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze, that's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. True. I mean, it did pretty good for the Gatewater Hotel. So, you know, you never know. Uh, what happened? Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I said I had that post-ceremony stage show to do, so I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Okay, I'm calling it right now. The killer is his manager. 100%. Definitely. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess to something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Corrida, Corrida was already dead at that time? Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. Okay. 
about you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corrida. What of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. Yeah, I mean, he looks... Probably like 10 years older than you. <laughs> and he wanted to try to make a jammin' ninja movie, even though we all know it'd fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, and the new... It took the Grand Prix by storm. Oh my god. So why would I, the killer, have any reason... The Oh my god, the winner. <laughs> So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? My my brain moved the word kill up to the top and read that as killer. I was like, wait, what? Dude, you think it'd be the other way around, you know? Okay. The charge of murder. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. Why? Bro, you're so framed. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, or Hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm going to get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. Ongar to see if he really is innocent or not. W we can do that? Yes. Okay, okay, new mechanic time. If you use this. Maya's Magatama. He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Pearl's so goaded. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corrida? Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. All right. Just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corrida, okay? Okay. Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock in sight. Which means it's all right to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Okay. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, we can't stop now. <laughs> that would be such a short episode. Nah, we're still going. We're pushing through. All right, so we're in part one, two, investigation. Okay, so we're still not... I mean, obviously we're not to the trial. We don't have any evidence at all. <laughs> Duh. Uh, March 21st, 11.34 a.m., right in Koala offices. Pearl is ready. She's gonna fuck someone up. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is, a very, which is very important. So? So now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. On Guard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking. Okay. Hmm. Alright, what to do? Since there were no psych locks, then that means we can trust Mr. On Guard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I was so worried that I kept wondering, what if he's the real killer? What then? Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. Okay, what is it? Why are you so interested in how Maya and I get all- Okay, we're getting to the heart of things, huh? I mean, she and I don't have anything special go- Huh? Wh what do you mean? But but I thought- I thought you and Mystic Maya were- I, I, I've been mistaken all this time? No way! Ah, she really wasn't kidding. Pearls actually believes Maya and I are- Maybe I should have just left it alone. Mr. Nick, stop it! Don't hide your true feelings from me! Ow, she slapped me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. By the way, I feel like now is a pretty good time to address this. Uh, probably something that you guys are wondering my opinion on, and it'd be a good thing to encapsulate before it's ever acted on or not. Um, the idea that... Do I ship Phoenix and Maya? Right. And I think the answer to that question is I don't, personally... I think that they are really, really close friends. Like, like ride or die life shit, right? Um, 
but I would not be opposed to them going that route. I, I'm i gonna be happy with it either way. I'm not gonna be upset if Phoenix and Maya don't end up together and they never act on it or whatever, but I'm not going to be, um, how should I say, surprised if they don't. You know what I mean? So, I'm good either way, no problem. All right, so, uh, Charlie, my boy. Oh, I'll water it. Ah, uh, it's okay. I already did that. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I love Charlie. The watering can. Where are you, Mr. Watering Can? Let her do it. Let her do it. Pearls gets too wound up if she's not doing something to distract herself. I hope Charlie can withstand Typhoon Pearls. <laughs> oh man, that's so fucking cute. Okay. Um... Like, it's, it's cute that Pearls wants to help so bad, but it's also really cute that Phoenix is like, I already watered it. I was on it. This plant is fucking important to me. I love that. Okay. Um, God, this game is so good. Okay. Uh, moving on to the detention center. Is on guard here or in questioning? Here he is. Ah, the lawyer dude. So what'd you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. But I've already told you everything I know, dude. Okay. Well, let's go over it again, my guy. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you're supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude. I have no... Okay, yeah, we're just going through the same... Sorry, dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather. This guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's what the detective in the green coat showed up. Yep. Okay, cool. Quantum, what sort of that? That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even. Okay, yep, same. Same thing. Okay. Sounds good. Well, then, let's go ahead and go to the Gatewater Hotel. By the way, I totally knew that a murder was going to happen here. It would... Ever, ever since they kept building it up and kept reintroducing the bellboy, which, by the way, where the hell is he? Um, I was sure that, like, oh, we're totally going back there. It's such an important, pivotal case of that game, too, so... Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without... Good morning. Hold on, it's you! What is, what is going on around here? Uh, uh, um... I heard poor Juan was killed. Is that true? Oh my god. It's, it's a repeat. <laughs> Let me guess. You loved Juan Corrida. And you... Uh, oh, you, you've always been such a big fan. And that's why you took the job. And yada yada, right? It's a bad rerun is what it is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Juan's ex fucking goddamn it. Why, oh why, do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? I've always been that it's always been that way. Ever since I blah blah blah, the class hamster was fine until it <laughs> Queen Reaper, whoever in your name is spelled dot what the f <laughs> Um actually I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. <laughs> Don't push me, boy! Um Mr. Nick? I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky head, smarty pants! <laughs> I love how she just wants to shoot people. No. <laughs> Oldbag is so fucking unhinged. Retire. Get out of here. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes my this heart go but dump again. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I'd watch your words. No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my Juan. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. Of course, of course they're gonna fight now, too. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? Because she's from the heart of the heartland. Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was a young maiden, I was so beautiful, the flowers in the fields blushed. I pressed flowers. 
pearls? Are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Th thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Youngins today! So I'm guessing Ms. Oldbag heard everything from Lotta. Okay, yep. Makes sense to me. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Huh, I see. But... But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. Oh my god. No! You're a witness, aren't you? What? I saw the most important moment of the night. Fuck. Okay. You're not gonna tell us. Let me guess. The, the most important moment? You don't mean... Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child? When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? Fucking god damn it. <laughs> oh my god, four? The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder, what murder isn't? Oh my god. Please don't stray onto another tangent. Please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. A present? Okay. Um... Well, first, let's... Let's just see exactly what the prompt is. That's done well for us before. <clears throat> what you witnessed. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please, tell us what you saw. But, aw, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at you youngin's expense. I am a little devil, after all. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? Alright, I'll give you what you want. Uh, what, what you want? Okay. Alright. Miss Windbag. <sighs> Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. We've done it before. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. True. Alright, well, I don't think we're going to find anything new out here. So let's go to the hallway. Anyone here? Gumshoe, maybe? Lotta, okay. Hey, you're here! Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lotta? Hey, Mr. Copfella! The thief showed his face! Wh wh what Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! Lotta, what the fuck? Wh what's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling alright? Look here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? My camera! Camera! It's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Your, your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky, here you are! Doesn't that mean you're the criminal? Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. <laughs> huh? Okay. Well, we don't have your camera, but tell us about it. So you lost your camera. It ain't no ordinary camera, you buy it in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store, about five hours I reckon. Made this I made this itty bitty scratch on it and the manager got all huffed up on the face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it too. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night after the murder happened. Must have been when I was running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear, darling, expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Probably. Okay. Well, there's our camera in its case. A very expensive item valued at $1,600. Why is that noted? It was stolen around the time of the murder. Okay. 
Lotta, please tell me what you what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ongar was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure went to school? You sure you went to school, city boy? Whenever Lotta Hart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop. I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. I remembered. Wrecking course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was on to I was on the lookout for other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Okay. Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that was what that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? Oh my god. Okay, only two. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Haha, <laughs> yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your I rule smile. Lotta, why are you so antagonistic toward me? What did I ever do to you? Uh. Okay, what's the prompt for you? We need to get a present for Old Bag that she wants, and I'm guessing you want your camera back. Lotta, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I, for my scoop? What I want to know about are the details of, the, of this scoop. But that's not something I can tell you. I mean, that there's my bread and butter. All right then, an unpleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm looking to say that you were looking into a. I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Grr. Could it be that you, Lot of Heart, were looking for a break with a huge story? Perhaps an unfolding scandal, scandal, scandal between Juan Corrida and this person. Let's take a shot. On guard. Who the heck is that? Okay. Yeah, figured not. <laughs> They're gay rivals. I knew it. Okay. Anyway. Um. Well. Okay, we can go into his hotel room now. Both of them. Let's start with Corridas. What the heck? I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. Why are there chips in, like, a piece of paper on the table? Dude, this guy. Does Corrida translate to something, maybe? Does it, does it have anything to do with the word bear, by chance? Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Corrida's room, Pearls. Mr. Corrida. The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you! So, what's happened? The kidnapper, has he contacted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. Ongard's acquittal. Um, you're doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want Maya to be alright. We don't have any. We don't. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Thank you, Gumshoe. Thank you so much for being on the right side. Who's the prosecutor in this case, by the way? Can you do that? Even if, even if we want to look around the crime scene, just this once. Special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know, but you gotta keep quiet. You're so goaded, Gumshoe. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go, little missy. Aw. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. Haha, <laughs> we don't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Aw. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Aw. Okay, well. What do we got? Um, on guard, corrida, viola hall. Lobby. Okay. It says partial up top, but last time that also didn't matter. So. Interesting. Where's the entrance to the building, though? It must be on, like, the front side of the lobby, like the south side, I assume, maybe? 
Weird. And everybody has to go through the big hall to get to the rooms? That's not a very good layout. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. What was the cause of death? Do you know what the cause- do you know what was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but one look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should? Yeah, here's a picture. Okay. Okay. Knife to the chest. Could be a red herring, though. There's also, like... A wound... Like, there's also, like, a little... Mark underneath where the knife went through. And there's supposed to be, like, a button or something there? Like, a piece of the... The costume? Interesting. Um... I really need to examine this picture. There's a lot going on. His guitar case is there, but we heard before that his guitar was missing. There's wine on the desk, the table behind him. And there's stuff all over the floor. Roses, the flowers. Okay. There's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal, that's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep. And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Mr. On Guard's prints, pal. Well, yeah, of course. That's bad. Real bad. Okay. Let's look at that a little closer here. See if we can spot anything else interesting. I notice... I notice the... I feel like that little indent below where the knife is and where the button or whatever it's called is missing is going to be important. It's got to be, right? Um, yeah. I'm not noticing anything else except that his guitar was not put away. What's up with the guitar? Seems like a weird thing to mention in exposition, too. I'm, I'm, I'm on the lookout. I'm looking out for clues. Reason for arrest. I'm gonna operate under the assumption that he did not die from the stab. I we, We've been through a stab before that was not real. So, why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Because we have evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Corrida, really put up a big fight. Oh my god, there's a whole other side of this room. Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. Yeah. There's also dinner again. <laughs> so many bears. <laughs> the signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, his button came off. Yep. Mr. On Guard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his Hakama. Well, that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. Who? A witness? Wh who is it? That lady, Miss Oldbag. Oh my god. Please, anyone but her. Prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around where the Vic was that's a little off. Something that's a little off? As in... As in, that's for you to figure out, pal. Why? You said you'd help me. Alright, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Okay. Something around where... It was. It's the it's the guitar. Where where the heck is his guitar? It looks like Mr. Corrida had dinner last night. This bottle, it's tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the award show last night, but I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. Probably. Uh, I love this. Is that a bear or is that a dog? It looks <laughs> kind of like a halfway point. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Corrida fought his assailant. What are these bits of glass from? A flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? That's right, you have a garden. You might know a bit more. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? But Mystic Maya... She said that the bright red guitar was the Jammin' Ninja's signature item. That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. 
Okay. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Okay. So. That means that the vase where the flowers were fell during the struggle and the case was closed. Right? If there's no water in the case, then the guitar was taken likely after the fact, but why? Let me guess. It was found in On Guard's room, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. If, if that's true, then I totally see what they were talking about. There's too much evidence. Very weird. Okay. Okay, I'm piecing things together already. I'm in super hyper detective mode here. It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, it's gotta be a framing, right? Like, there's, there, there's mistakes everywhere. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? No sign it's been drank either. It's filled with tomato juice found next to the victim. Things are weird here. It It's looking pretty likely to me. Yeah, the phone's on the ground. Like, there's so much going on, but this? You missed this? Weird. Definitely a setup, 100%. So that's a bed, right? Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft. Big beds must be a rarity for her. Yeah, probably not appropriate to be bouncing on a dead man's bed, but, you know. Um, coffee pot on top of the mini fridge. Weird placement. And then there's also like a, like a water cooler here. Interesting. There are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the tomato juice bottle are bo both empty. Empty? It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Oh, there's a beet, some ketchup, and a bottle of strawberry jam, too. Maybe red was his favorite color? Yeah, weird. Okay. Um. Well, there's a significant lack of red bears in that case. There are some, but... Wow, there are a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there a kind of bear he doesn't want that he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. What? Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. <laughs> Poor teddies. What the hi? It's hard to bear with all these problems. Growl. <laughs> Are you haunted, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into an old man. Dad joke time, Nick. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Oh my god. That's so good. I love that Mo came back to haunt him. <laughs> hmm. It's so messy here. Pearls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please? Okay, that over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. I know what a watch is. <laughs> Oops, for a second there, I forgot I was talking to Pearls. <laughs> Not Maya! <laughs> this is a funny case, man. <laughs> Damn, brutal. It's a suitcase. There are so many things in it that I bet it barely closes. There's his clothes, a dryer, an electric shaver, a calculator. Do all stars pack too much stuff like Mr. Corrida? Sometimes my rolled R doesn't come out. Can you tell I don't speak Spanish? Alright, um... Well, I guess that's everything in here. Now let's go to... On Guard's hotel room. Is the guitar in here? That's the question of the hour, huh? Um, where are we? 
We're in Mr. Matt on guard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Hi. Who are you? Uh, um, we're... You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Oh, you're the manager. Okay, so it's not the killer. Interesting. Who are you? Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow. It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ongar's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash to find clues to build this case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. She looks a lot like Samus, by the way. Uh, especially, like, the outfit really reminds me of Samus's Metroid Fusion outfit a lot. <laughs> or, like, her post, you know what I mean? I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Adrian Andrews, is that what it was? Uh, all right. She may be off. Sm she may be a small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. It was Adrian, right? Why are you not on my thing? Okay. Um, night of the murder. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On Guard. What? Is what is in your hand right now? Why is it a seashell? In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you. I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table by yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. Yeah. When the awards show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. Viola? Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess? When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Hongard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corrida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? He really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Yeah, true. Why is she not in here? <laughs> Alright, relation to Hongard. Um, so, about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ongard and I are related, are you? S sorry uh, it's very obvious. I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. Why does she have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to release your to relieve your stress later, all right? <laughs> I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ongard's manager. His manager. Speaking of managers, did the victim Mr. Corrida have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios, and that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I- I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? <laughs> Okay. Well. Interesting. Oh, there you are. Okay, now you're finally in here. Yeah, Adrian Andrews, number 23. Number 23? Age 23. Wow, brain. Thanks. Uh, on guards manager, an intelligent woman who seems to have it all together. True. Okay. Well. Um. Let's start looking around, I guess. It's probably Mr. On guards suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for the award show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days' worth of clothes in here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? Yep. There's some samurai-looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket-looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled. <laughs> True. Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. I'm sure that Mr. On Guard's Miss, a Miss Andrews plates. Looks like they had T-Bone Steaks. <laughs> What's with the Global Studios and T-Bone Steaks? Yep. Uh, there's a katana over here. Um, there's a spear, which is apparently not interesting. Um, that's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here. 
True, they do. And I can't slide anywhere else. So there's nothing... Really, nothing new. Huh. Okay. Um... Well... Hey, uh... What do you know... I, I don't know. Um... About Juan. Did you know the victim, Mr. Corrida? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe one of no one would have needed to die. What a statement. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. Yeah. She must know why Juan Corrida was killed. Yep. Definitely. Anything new? Oh my god, wow, that was... I was just taken a guess, but let's still... I asked to become Mr. Ongard's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his, niece, his nice disposition. Hmm, Mr. Ongard does seem like a rather weak-willed man, always doing as he's told. He's always saying, my manager, right, Mr. Nick? Uh-huh. You are strange. I hate talking about myself. It's a trifling matter, that's why. So, sorry. Take away that lawyer, that layer of sarcasm, and she really does seem to hate herself. Yeah. Uh, I'm suspicious of you. Maybe I shouldn't be, but you're you're odd. Do you have any ideas as to as to why Mr. Corrida was murdered? Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? Oh my God, a third person. Damn, they're not holding back. Okay. <laughs> oh, my four of them? Ugh. Bro, this is brutal. M Ms. Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a cyclock, Mr. Nick? Yes. There's getting to be more and more of these lately. Okay. What's the prompt? Motive for murder. Why was Juan Corrida murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. Ongar's life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, it was not, I was not that close to Mr. Corrida. You were not that close? That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. Okay, okay, progress, progress. Progress. Okay. You are not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Okay. Okay. We've got it. I know where to go. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Okay. So. I think we are going to head forward next time. I think I know Lotta's scoop. Thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All Blind. I've been Gil Master Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you're a new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my socials or join my Discord, they're in the description. And I hope to see you all in the next one when we start breaking down these locks, man.